I am Naked Nick Nick and this is my journey to cycling. everyone and welcome to today's video. Um, you are watching Naked Nick Nick and this is my journey to cycling. So part of my journey uh, was very much learning about the different uh, options I had for bikes. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about my bikes in a moment uh, but before I do a very very important safety announcement from me. Um, any roadie will tell you that we do not leave home and we consider it very uncool if you do not have one of these bad boys. This, my friends, as you can tell, is a helmet, and I would implore anyone watching this video, please, 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 always wear a helmet. Um, I, I have had the misfortune of having a really bad accident. Um, during that accident, a lady simply didn't see me. Nothing, nothing wrong with my cycling per se. She didn't see me, um, and she pulled out, and or she crossed my lane, and I basically hit her car with my head. Um, fortunate for me, I was wearing a helmet and the doctor said that I'm only here alive today because of this thing. So um, please always make sure when you are on the bike, make sure that you're wearing something bright, make sure that you're visible. I personally, I'm always in reflective gear. So I have um, Provis is a really good uh, option for you. They, they reflect glass, but they don't have neon colors to them all the time. So it, you can still look cool. Um, and make sure you do spend money on one of these because it's the quality of them that makes the difference as well. So, okay, mummy lecture's over, sorry. Uh, moving on, let's talk about bikes. I actually have had a few, a few bikes. I, th I think some people would consider some of the bikes that I've had, you, you know, or the amount of bikes I've had in this time somewhat extravagant. Um, it's fair to say that I became obsessed with cycling um, from the very, very start. And during that time, I may have made some interesting purchases on bikes. So the idea of today's video is very much to guide you through my my lessons that I learnt. Oh, that's so project managing of me. Um, but very much just give you an idea of <laughs> what happened to me. And maybe, maybe, maybe if you are looking at buying a bike or you're considering a change of bike, maybe today's video will help you with that. So um, I started off um, my journey with the bikes online. Um, I basically asked a friend, phoned a friend and said, hey, I wanna buy a bike, what do you recommend? And they said, you know what, Nick, make sure you get the most expensive bike you can afford because you're immediately gonna to wanna to upgrade it. And I was a bit like, oh, at the time, 500 pounds then, that, that's really quite extravagant for me. And then I went online and I learned very quickly that there is a huge, huge range when it comes to the price of bikes. Um, so interestingly so, I uh, started looking and before I realized I spent more money than I originally budgeted for it. But hey ho, I got myself um, a beautiful Live bike. Um, for those who may not be familiar with Live, Live are a female version. It's um, owned and uh, manufactured by Giant and it's uh, the Live range is specific for women. And actually the components that tend to be on a Live bike are really good quality components for the price. So it was, it was a, I understand it to be a way that Giant wanted to uh, really encourage more women to come into cycling. Hey, it worked for me. Um, so they're clearly doing something right. So I got my Live bike, um, I ordered it online. Um, I clicked, um, I clicked buy and thought I was getting a black and red bike. Now, the bike that I purchased was actually pink, so I was a little bit disappointed, but I was equally very impatient. I didn't want to send it back. I didn't want to try and find another one. I just wanted to get on my bike and I wanted to ride. It was as simple as that. So I thought, oh well, we'll, we'll cope with the pink. It's not too pink. Um, and then, so I, I finally got my bike together, go to sit on it, and there are no pedals. So I didn't realize this, so a little, little funny story for you, what, um, when I purchased the bike, I mean, I immediately got on the phone to customer services and was like, hey, you, you forgot to send me pedals. Like, how dare they? Um, and then I was quickly reminded or, or reassured that, that all bikes, all road bikes come without pedals because you choose your own pedals. That it turns out there's different versions of pedals and you choose the one that suits you. So Liv, Liv, that was my first bike. And I called Liv Luke 
I always name my bikes, have to name everything, cars, the works. So I had Luke the Liv, um, and it was fabulous. It, it was an amazing bike. Um, sadly, it's actually, ironically, it's actually on my turbo trainer now, but it was um, the bike that I had the accident with, so it's no longer safe to ride out on the roads because obviously it's carbon and we don't want to risk anything breaking. It's a, it's a little bit a little bit broken, um, but it's fine for a turbo trainer, which is great because it means I never have to take it off. Uh, so what happened after Liv? So I had a I had a cycling mate, and we used to basically go into Sigma Sports together and perv over the bikes, literally perv over the bikes, drooling like, oh, that's such a nice bike. So I kind of learned a lot about bikes from Sammy. Oh, he, he was perving at the Cervelo S5, and for anyone who's familiar with that bike, that is a racing bike, and it is a pretty mean machine, uh, and it's beautiful, and it was black and in green, no more pink, black and green. Anyway, I managed to get a really good deal on it, and I just thought, blow it, I'm gonna get it. So I went ahead and bought this bike, uh, started riding it in the January and um, quickly realised that it really, really wasn't designed for my body shape. Now, um, I actually have what I um, often refer to as T-Rex syndrome, which basically means I have little arms, but I have longer legs. You really should just get fitted to a bike, because if not, you're gonna spend so much money trying to trying to change it for you. So that was my lesson learned from that one. And also don't buy a bike that's not suited for what you need it to do. Okay, what happened after Charlie? I, um, I then I got into track cycling. Um, in one of my videos, I talk about my, my career, my cycling career, not that it was career, but my, uh, my, my, my disciplines. And one of my disciplines was track cycling. And that is basically on a fixie with no brakes. And I managed to meet another cyc cyclist who was selling their Planet X track, uh, track bike. Um, and I got a really good deal on it. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna, you know, I really wanna take this seriously. So I bought Planet, uh, Peter, Peter the Planet X. Um, if I'm honest, <laughs> because of my, my accident and um, COVID, I haven't used Peter more than twice. Um, and I don't know what my career is going to do now in track cycling, so Peter is also being sold. So if you want to buy a Planet X track bike, reach out, leave comments, because I'm selling him. Um, so I will, I will be sad to see him go, because he's a beautiful bike. He was red and black. Get that. Um, so after that, I... Um, after those three bikes, where was I then? Bertie. Let's talk about Bertie. So I... What I find with bikes, and my very, very um, top tip for you is do not ever, 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 ever leave your very expensive bikes anywhere unless it's locked safely. So uh, some, some of my friends have left their bikes uh, in the coffee, like outside the coffee shop and then run inside and then wonder why their bikes have been nicked. So you can't, you can't risk leaving these bikes. You know, they're very valuable bikes and they're often stolen. I therefore wanted a cheap bike that, um, and a bit of a classic bike, if I was honest, um, where I could cycle into London or I could cycle down the local shops and just leave it outside and you know just just put a quick quick chain around it and that's it, it's done. So I could continue riding all the time and not rely on cars, but still not worry about losing my bike. So I started eBay, looking on eBay for a second hand. I really wanted to get like a, an old rally style, you know, really classic. And it turns out, lesson I learned, um, there aren't many older bikes that are, um, that are designed for females. So I was either gonna have to buy a man's bike and just probably have the same problems I had with Charlie, or I started looking around and I managed to find this wonderful place, um, which I've now forgotten the name, where were they clapped? They were in, oh, I can't remember. I'll leave, I'll leave it in the comments, but um, it was a lovely bike shop that designed classic old looking bikes, but they were brand new. Cost you a couple of hundred pounds, single speed, um, so, you know, I got to look all cool or get to look all cool on it and um, absolutely love this bike. I mean, I get a lot of kudos when I ride it. It's, you know, obviously it's, it's a heavy frame, but it's just beautiful for popping down the shops with. I leave it, you know, I kind of leave it where it goes and I love Bertie, he's awesome. Um, so that was my recommendation to you. If you do want to have a bike that you're gonna just kind of uh, throw around, 
then you know go for go for a cheaper one you know but don't don't underestimate these newer shops that are creating old style bikes and you can't go wrong with a single speed they're amazing they're just so much you just they're just so so much so enjoyable to ride there's no faffing with gears nothing nothing you just get on the bike and you ride it's simple so guys i really hope you enjoyed today's video um do keep posted for new ones coming your way very very soon this is a series of my videos about my journey towards cycling so if you are enjoying these i hope that you can like subscribe to my channel and also leave me comments please just so i know what kind of content that you really really want um, and i'd love to hear from you until the next time this is naked nick nick bye